Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about zodiac or astrological sign compatibility between Gemini and Sagittarius. Now, a lot of this depends on whether the relationship is uh, platonic or whether it's a significant other situation or romantic sexual whether this depends on the compatibility between these two people because they are opposite signs now if this is a uh, platonic like friendship they they could be diametrically opposed in many areas and if this however is a significant other situation well the, the actually the opposites can attract and you could have very strong uh, compatibility between these signs because each one can um, basically complement uh, the other and each can learn from each other. Now, the thing about this is they are both extroverted signs. They're both masculine. So in a, if the, let's say this is a, a platonic relationship. They would have uh, many disparities and differences because for one thing, Sagittarius is really... Um, what you call a straight shooter with the the bow and arrow of course i'm using that as a, a metaphor way to describe them but they are uh straight shooters uh very direct and blunt they lack often lack diplomacy they could be very outspoken it may generally not be malicious but sagittarius likes to get to the heart of the matter in a, in a way or, or hit somebody uh, directly with their statements with those uh sometimes those harsh arrows of truth so to speak while Gemini uh, inclines to be a little bit more like diplomatic, and Gemini, though not necessarily someone that, that's going to be a, that, uh, a, someone that prevaricates or lies, will sometimes maybe stretch the truth a little bit in order to spare someone's feelings. So each of them may may oppose each other for this way of, of acting, as opposed to not as opposed to acting in the way each one actually. Act. So Sagittarius may not like Gemini for that way of, of maybe as far as communication goes. And then Gemini may be taken aback by Sagittarius for the overly uh, blunt uh, nature of the person. And Sagittarius is more about profound learning things in a profound way in in deeper way uh, broad concepts learning a, a subject thoroughly while gemini is a little bit more they're they're restless and they could be vacillating more they're they're really they don't always have a lot of persistence and may learn things uh superficially so that's another difference and then you have really um gemini is a little bit more about being streetwise, street savvy, and I think Sagittarius is more inclined toward like the book smart. So you have that a little bit difference uh, with uh, as far as uh, Gemini and Sagittarius goes. And Sagittarius is going to be the one that speaks the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in most instances. While Gemini will not always uh, do so. And like I said before, a lot of times to spare the other's feelings. Now, if this is a situation where these people are romantically involved and it's a significant other situation, well, a lot of these differences may actually complement each other. And on this, it could actually be very auspicious. You have uh, Sagittarius, which is like that perpetual learner that likes to keep uh, learning all the time. And, and you have, uh, and, and really, and they can learn very deeply on, on subjects. While Gemini can be a little bit scattered this way, Gemini can assimilate a lot of information in a rather short period of time. However, they don't, a lot of times they lack persistence with subjects. While Sagittarius can help Gemini learn maybe subjects more broadly and more deeply, uh, Gemini will give Sagittarius some ability to have more of an open viewpoint and stance on subjects and not always say, well, my philosophy is the only way and, and be a little bit less opinionated, uh, lack of better words for, for Sagittarius. Now, the thing about this is if it's a romantic sexual relationship, a significant other thing in the bedroom, well, both these signs can can rather be young at heart. You have Gemini can be very whimsical and, and Sagittarius is about enjoyment and having and having fun. And they're both very positive and optimistic. Gemini likes diversity and they can extemporize it as far as in the bedroom goes, which Sagittarius may like. Sagittarius uh, can be 
uh, really, uh, they they have they like to see have the enjoyment in things, and I think because of that, this could be a good um, a good match as far as in the bedroom goes, so to speak. And thing uh, and Sagittarius is very fun loving, and Gemini, of course, very whimsical, young at heart, which Sagittarius can uh, appreciate. Now, the thing about uh, this is is that. Another thing, when, when you look at this uh, combination, another positive is, if this is a romantic thing, that both are mutable signs. And both of these people, now Gemini is really, if, there, if there's an argument, well, Sagittarius will probably be the one that'll hold to their, their vantage point their, in, in, as far as their opinion on something. But both of these people, neither one is vindictive or vengeful or grudge holding. So if there is some kind of dispute, often each one will forgive and forget rather readily. And really that's what makes this a, a good combination as well because both these people are very lighthearted about things. Gemini can be very vivacious and very upbeat because it is a masculine sign just like Sagittarius. Sagittarius can be very effervescent and really the eternal optimist. Well, anyway. It's important to look at the aspect, if any, that is made between uh, the person with Sagittarius, the, Sa the Gemini energy and the Sagittarius energy. And yes, it does apply to the sun, moon, and ascend. And I may not have said that at the beginning of the video, and I apologize if I didn't. Now, the thing about this is, it's um, if there, in many cases, there will be an opposition uh, between these people with these energies. Now, let's say, for example, one person has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Gemini at 11 degrees, and the other person has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Sagittarius at 9 degrees. Well, that would form uh, an opposition aspect, which could be adverse or adversarial, and they are opposite by sign to begin with. Now, the thing about, well, it's, op it's adversarial if it is a platonic relationship. Now, and in, in, in that would only accentuate or reinforce the negativity between uh, the, these two and the disparities and in the opposition and viewpoints. However, if it is not platonic and is, it's a significant other uh, situation, romantic uh, or sexual, then it could be auspicious and positive and can only accentuate the positive, the, the positive element, which is already indicated by the fact they are opposite by sign. Now, Let's say, though, um, you can have an out-of-sign in-conjunct aspect take place between these people with these energies. Let's say, for example, one person has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Gemini at 2 degrees, and the other person has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Sagittarius at 28 degrees. Well, this could be adverse or adversarial because the in-conjuncts are about uh, adjustments and you might have these people having to make adjustments a little more to their to to uh, their situation, whether it is uh, platonic or whether it is a significant other situation. Keep in mind, though, that they are opposite by sign. So if this is a sexual, romantic, significant other situation, you still have the positive element given that they are opposite by sign, and the opposites uh, do attract theory does apply. However, if it's a platonic relationship and they're opposite by sign, well, you have the negativity with that, and you also have, to add on to that, you have the inconjunct aspect, and that would, obviously, that would not be a uh, good a good combination or good aspect to have if it is just a regular friendship platonic uh, platonic friendship situation well anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for astrological or zodiac sign compatibility between gemini and sagittarius and stay tuned next time where i'll be dissertating and talking about astrological or zodiac sign compatibility between Gemini and Capricorn. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.